can't forget my emotional support Christmas headband. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. I hope you're all doing well. We're on Vlogmas episode two and today we're doing some really fun Christmas DIYs that I'm super excited to show you. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and make three different kinds of DIY Christmas decorations. Now, one of them I've made before, so I'm pretty confident that it will turn out well, but the other two I have not tried before at all and I did not do any sort of test run or anything. So it could turn out awful, they could turn out great. I hope that they turn out great and then then you guys can try them too. But I have a couple different DIYs I'm gonna show you. All of these are pretty inexpensive. Obviously, they're things that you can do at your house and just require a few basic craft supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on showing you guys these awesome DIYs and I hope you all enjoy them. Before I get started in my DIYs today, I am reminding everybody that for Christmas this year, I'm asking for 100 subscribers to my channel. I think I would be so awesome if I could get that. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and um, help me get the best Christmas present I could have ever asked for. To start, our first craft is gonna be these really cute dollar store figurines that I made. You'll need some dollar store figurines, some yarn, and some hot glue for this project. To start, you're gonna take your dollar store figurine and then you're going to take off the buttons, eyes, and mouth, and I just took scissors. The nose on this does not come off, so I just left that on. And then you're going to take the tinsel and you're just going to unwrap it. It should be pretty easy to unwrap, but if you can't get it to come off, you can just take some scissors and then cut it off as well. Once you're done unwrapping all of the tinsel, you're gonna take some white yarn, and or I guess any color really, but I'm gonna try to do a snowman, and I'm gonna tie it to the bottom of the frame, and then I'm just going to wrap the yarn around the entire snowman area. And you wanna do a lot of yarn. Then I'm gonna take some red yarn and wrap it around for the scarf, and I'm going to, like I'm not cutting any of it, so I'm gonna keep it attached, go ahead and tie it off, and then take the part that is still attached to the rest of the body and you're gonna wrap some more yarn around your hand and then tie it to the top part of the scarf and then you'll just tuck the end into the back of the scarf and you can even tie it off if you would like. And then I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna cut the loop so that way you can really tell that it's a scarf. Then I'm gonna take some more of the red yarn and I'm gonna finish wrapping the hat. Now, I started down at the bottom of the hat, but I ended up just wrapping the top half first. And you might have to do this. Sometimes it looks a little janky when you first start wrapping the yarn around these frames, but if you just keep with it, continue to wrap, eventually it will start to come together and look a lot better. But at the beginning, it might look a little rough. But as you can see, it turned out really cute. So I ended up just cutting the ends off and then I tied a small little knot and tucked the end just into the rest of the yarn. Then I took some hot glue and just hot glued the buttons for the body back on to the snowman. And then I also hot glued its eyes on. I forgot to hot glue the mouth back on. However, the a scarf came up pretty high on the snowman's chin, so I don't think I really I would have really had any room for the mouth. So I think nobody's really gonna notice. It's just me, and I feel like it still turned out pretty cute. And then for the hat, I don't have a white pom pom or anything for the end of the hat, so I just took the little floral decoration that was on the snowman before and I ended up just hot gluing that onto the tip and then I hot glued the scarf on to just so that way it kind of stood up a little bit higher and then I also, also hot glued the bottom pieces on just so that way they wouldn't come apart and that's the end product so we're going to do it also with this little Christmas tree also from the dollar store so again you just unwrap all of the tinsel from the frame and then you just take your on this one I took a hot glue gun first and I just hot glued the end of the yarn onto it straight away but you can also just tie it on and then I decided to wrap the bottom base of the tree like the tree stand in red and then the rest of the tree I just wrapped in green And 
And when I finished with the wrapping, I ended up just taking a little bit of hot glue and hot gluing the end onto the frame itself. And there you go, your cute little Christmas figurines that were from the dollar store that you can now put up on a shelf somewhere in your house. Our next DIY is this Christmas tree garland. You're going to need four colors of yarn, a beaded garland, a book, and some scissors. To start, you're gonna take a piece of yarn that's the length of your spine, you're gonna tape it down onto the spine of the book. Then you're gonna wrap the rest of the yarn around the spine about 30 times is what I did. You can do however much you want. Then you'll untape that piece of yarn that was taped to the book and you'll tie it in a couple of knots, so that way it is um, surrounding the yarn that you just wrapped. You'll cut off the end and then you'll turn your book over and snip the yarn in half. And I did this with three of the four colors. So I did it with my red, white, and blue yarn. And then the color that you wanna have as your Christmas tree, you will do it a little bit differently. But go ahead and make four of these little garland um, pieces. You'll make four of each of those colors. Then you'll take another piece of yarn and you'll just wrap it around about an inch down from the top of your little garland piece and you'll just tie it in a knot so that way it looks like a little head or like a little ghost almost. Now we need to make the tree. So instead of doing it around a book, I decided to take a little piece of cardboard. Again, I cut um, a piece so that way we can wrap it around our yarn. And then you're gonna take your yarn and wrap it around the cardboard. I did mine only about 20 times this time. And you'll wanna make three for each garland piece, if that makes sense. So for every tree that you're making, you're actually making three of these smaller pieces. Once you cut it in half and you have all three of your pieces, you're going to just flip your little garland piece so that way it just, looks just like that. And then you're just going to hot glue the crap out of this. So I just put a lot, bunch of hot glue down and then I took each garland piece and I just hot glued it on top of each other if that makes sense. Hopefully this video makes sense. So it, my words probably don't sound right, but that's how you do it. So you just glue three pieces to each other kind of separated them in the middle so that way they look like a tree in the end. To attach the garland pieces to the garland, I just separated them out by every six beads and then I took a piece of string, wrapped it through the garland piece and then tied it to the garland. Okay, so this is the final product. I will say, and like these are DIYs and you know, like it is real life, but I don't feel like the trees really turned out looking like trees. Now, the ones that I was looking at, my inspiration, they actually put like ornaments on the trees and got a little like wooden star bead that they put at the very top. So then it did look a little bit more like a tree, but you know what though? It's still a cute little garland and I, I'm a big fan. So I think I'm gonna keep it anyway because it has cute Christmas colors and we'll just, you know, maybe next year we'll buy one. But for now, it's a cute, fun little DIY and you have a sense of accomplishment when you can say, oh yeah, I made that. And people usually look at that and they go, oh my gosh, you made it, that's so cool. So happy with how this turned out. For our final DIY, we are making this super cute gingerbread house mat, doormat. You're gonna need a doormat, some paint, paint brushes, and painter's tape. I got everything from Target. You're gonna start off by taking your painter's tape and making your roof line. And then I just took a white kind of acrylic paint and started by dabbing the paint across the top of the edge of the painter's tape so I could have a nice clean line. Then I took another piece of painter's tape and this was kind of the bottom of my roof line. And I eyeballed this. You can take a measuring tape if you'd like, like it to be exact. And then what I did is I just, again, took the edge of the painter's tape and the paint and I made that the bottom line. I then started adding in the scalloped roofing by, again, I just eyeballed all of this and it took me a little while because the doormat was a little hard to paint. So just be patient with it and just do your best.
One thing that I found to be a make this whole process a lot easier was eventually just pouring the paint straight on to my mat made it easier for me to paint um, and get the paint really stuck into the bristles of the mat so that way it looked like it stayed more and I could kind of get the paints to spread a little bit easier but I just freehanded it so you just kind of do whatever you guys want I decided to add some windows I tried to add a door again it was not centered or very even at all but you just do what you can and I ended up just pouring the paint straight onto the mat for the rest of the time once I figured out that that was an easier way to do it. So I would say just starting off with that, except for the roof scallops can be a little tricky. I think don't try to pour the paint on directly when you're doing the scalloping on the roof, but everything else you can probably pour on and it's gonna be a lot easier for you. I decided I want to put it, I wanted to put a wreath in the middle of my house. So I started off by just painting a circle and I am actually shocked at how good my circle <laughs> turned out by freehanding it. But again, I just poured it straight onto the mat and I pushed all of that in and then I actually went back as you'll see in a second and I went and put scallops around the um, circle and then kind of just buffed that out so it looked like a door wreath. Okay guys, so this is the finished product and here's the thing. I think it looks cute and honestly for not having very much artistic talent, it doesn't look bad. I do wish I wouldn't have done this little red thing right here, but 
it is what it is. But this is what I was talking about with the windows. I ended up going ahead and scalloping them a little bit more. And I don't know if I love the garland around the windows, but overall, I think it looks really cute. I love this little portion. I love the wreath. And I just think it's just a cute little DIY super easy and you can definitely just make it your own. And I've actually seen people as well who have cut out this whole part. Like they physically got like a, a really good blade or even like a saw and they just cut this whole out. So that way it looked a little bit more like an actual like house, but I am not gonna do that. So I think for what we have, I think it looks super cute and I can't wait to put it outside. I'm gonna let it dry overnight just because even though it's acrylic paint and it's all pretty much dry, I think I'm gonna do another coat over everything so that way it's just a little bit of a deeper, richer color and then um, we'll be good to go. And what's nice about this is like it, this mat cost me $5 and the paint cost me 60 cents each. So it wasn't very expensive to put together. And so even though I did like mess up right here, you can see it will either come off through wear and tear or I can just get a new one next year you know and try again so yeah I think it turned out really 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 good all right friends that is it for today's vlogmas episode day two and I really did enjoy how my crafts turned out they might not have turned out in the way that I necessarily was hoping or wanted them to turn out but you know for being my first time trying most of these I'm very happy with the with the whole ordeal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm asking for 100 subscribers for Christmas. So if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Merry Christmas, baby.